welcome to this new video. My name is Susanne and today I want to talk with you about a new fountain pen I got. It is this one. As you see, it is still gift wrapped. Uh, this pen was gifted by me by Peggy from 24 Paper Shop and I left it packed because I wanted to show you that if you order there how nice they wrap it. Um, let me first unpack it with you. So then I can show you what's inside. You can also see it already from the title, of course. It's the Platinum Curidas. And yeah, I'm really curious about this pen. So this is the box in which the pen comes. And I can show you it already. Oops, it's a nice plastic sturdy box. And it comes like this. I picked uh, the aqua color one, because it's my favorite color. There's a pen in it, of course. And under it, there's a little booklet and a little ink. And what's special about this pen, I will show it to you, is... that it's the tip is retractable, as you can see. It works a bit like a ballpoint. So you can put it in and out. So that's the nice thing of this pen, but I'm also really, really curious how it writes, of course, because that's in the end uh, why you have a pen, because you hope it writes uh, nice. So yeah, I um, will put my camera different, I will show you how this pen writes, I will ink it up with you uh, and I also make a little journal spread with you. So let's put the camera in a different direction and see how the pen is in use. But before we do that I want you to ask if you like my videos please give them a thumbs up. And I also like to hear in the comments what you think of my videos or if you have any questions or ideas for future videos you're also free to leave a comment behind. And if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe. You can do that with hitting the subscription button below this video. So yeah, let's start watching how the pen is in use. Enjoy watching! So here is the pen in a bit more close up. You can see Curidas. And yeah, you see if you press here, the nib comes out. And this is how the system of the pen works. And if you screw it open, you see the mechanism of the pen. I don't know if you can look inside, but this is basically how it works. I will also take a look in the box with you together. I showed already a little bit before, but here's the booklet. There is insight how the pen works, like the mechanism, like explanation, how to use it, how it works, how to insert the ink cartridge, how to insert the converter, and yeah, how to uh, remove the clip if necessary. Yeah, a bit explanation about how the pen works. And it comes with an ink cartridge. It doesn't come with a converter, unfortunately. I always like to pick my own ink, uh, honestly. But uh, for now, for the testing, I will use this one from uh, Platinum. What you can also do if you don't have a converter and you really like to use your own ink, is uh, empty this one or write it empty and then uh, you can do with a little syringe you can um, put your own ink in it so that's a little tip <laughs> if you don't have a converter or you don't want to spend money on a converter this is a way to uh, fill it up with your own ink so let's fill it up with some ink i open the pen again and here you see like that mechanism thing if you put it open and you turn it a little then you can take this part out this one you can also take out you see here it's also with a little hole and then you can fill it up I try to do it gently so there's not everything under the ink later on Also looks quite tight with the metal ball. 
Yes, I managed. I'm always afraid to, if I do stuff too hard that I, I might break it. So I'm always really careful. Okay, let's put this back in place. It's like almost like a puzzle. Like this again, like locking with that little metal ball. And then, yeah, like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit hard the first time. And then like this. When it comes with the converter, I saw in the book that it also works kind of the same, but then, yeah, you use a converter instead of this cartridge. And now the pen is inked up. Now let's get it into writing. Needs to start always, of course. Oh, it starts really easy. I hardly uh, needed to shake and then it starts already. And what I first notice is it writes super smooth. You see also in the lines, I also make a bit like these thingies, or if you write more in script style. And you see the width, if you write like this, and the stroke down is basically the same. This is a medium tip, by the way. It's a bit hard to write. I can write more beautiful, <laughs> but uh, because the paper is laying like this, it's a bit hard. I can put it uh, more like this. I will try a bit more my best with the curidas. Really nice. I really like how it writes. Peggy said like I might use it uh, for work because it's easy, like you can retract the pen easily and uh, look at it like this. I think I will really do. So yeah, my first impression is really positive honestly. I really love how it writes, it writes super smooth. Uh, I think also the tip with uh, this is a medium one, it's also good, at least for me. Um, I really like, I have more medium tip pens and I think it's also matching the medium tip size. Sometimes you see in pens that, uh, for example, the tips tend to be a bit smaller or a bit larger than uh, what the nip with says. But yeah, this is, I think, quite accurate. Um, what I also like is that you can retract the point. I think it's really nice if you want to use this pen for on the go or at the office. It's really a nice pen. And if you're curious, like, oh, if it's retracted and maybe it might leak if you uh, shake the pen. You see here, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little... I do it like this, I think. This might see it better. There's a little cap that opens. So the nib goes really inside and it prevents it from leaking obviously, but also from the ink from drying out. So I think that's also a really nice feature. So yeah, if you are in search for a pen that is really good for on the go, that writes smooth, uh, that is also quite sturdy, it also feels sturdy. Um, yeah, I think this is really nice that it's uh, retractable then I think uh, this pen is really good for you. So my first thoughts about this pen are really positive, honestly. I really like how it writes. It writes super smooth, like writing uh, like butter. I think the nib sizing, uh, yeah, this is, this is a medium tip and I think the nib sizing is also quite accurate. Uh, you hear sometimes in pens like the nib sizes tend to be a bit larger or smaller than the size that it's uh, written on it. I think it's quite uh, accurate. I have more medium size uh, nibs in other pens and yeah, I think it's uh, matching the size. 
Um, what I also like about this pen, it's like the point is retractable and I think that's really nice. If you're looking for a pen that you can use at the office for example or on the go and you are a bit afraid of losing your cap from a pen with a loose cap, then this is really a good uh, option for you. And if you are afraid like, oh, but then it's retracted and maybe it leaks ink. If you look at the mechanism, I will show it to you. I hope you see it. You see there is a little lid opening in which the nib is hiding. So that prevents the ink from spilling out, but it also prevents the ink from drying out. So. Yeah, I think it's really well designed. So if you like a pen that is sturdy, uh, that you can easily take with you, uh, for example, to the office or on the go, I think this can be really a nice pen for you. So yeah, I promised also to make a spread with you together with this pen. So I will pick my journal and let's make a spread together. For this occasion I like to make a journal spread in my passport size journal from Traveler's Notebook. This is a Starbucks edition and I use this one for making little collages or writing down quotes that I find inspiring with a little collage next to it and yeah that I also want to do today with you. I start off with this tape, this is from Peon. Because this spread is about testing a pen, which is obviously stationary, I wanted to make a spread about stationary. I uh, found an interesting quote and I remembered this girl with stationary written on her shirt. So I thought it would be really fitting for this spread. And I know the ink in the pen is blue, so I want to use a bit like blue tones. And yeah, I decided to use also this ball. This is from Fairy Ball, the tape, the washi tape. I really like it for a bit background and layering. And this little paper is from Lin Chia Ning. It's also all stationary uh, objects on it, which I also really liked. And I just rip it in half and I, yeah, move a bit all the items around until I'm happy. And this little paper block is from Niret. And I thought it yeah, was still looking a bit off, so I thought I put this also on there. So it gives a bit more layering, more like a coherent feeling. But that little ball of fairy ball, I thought that brown is really, I don't know, it, it had something. So I decided to switch color to blue, so everything is more blue. And now I'm happy with uh, how it becomes, so I glue everything to the page. And what I like about using the kneaded paper, it's a bit transparent, or not a bit, it's just transparent. <laughs> and it brings down the contrast of that underlying paper, which was yeah quite black and white. And I thought the lines were a bit harsh and like this, it's still visible, but it's a bit more subtle. In that way, I like it more on this uh, occasion. And I just add also these small balls. These are also from Variable, the same brand as what the big ball is from and I have this little stamp from Yeno Atelier and I use light blue ink this is a Soramame ink but you can use of course any brand that you have in your collection and this stamp is from Yeno Atelier and as you can see I missed the spot but I managed to correct it and this stamp with a nib from a dip pen I also really liked and I also found it very fitting for the theme of this spread. This one is also from Lin Chianning. And this stamp is from Cat's Life Press. I also liked to edit. And now it's time to write a quote. And in the same time, I can tell you again a bit about the pen. I uh, used it a little bit more and I must say I'm really glad with it. It writes so smoothly and yeah, I think it's really well built. I think the design is uh, good with yeah the nib that goes in and is protected. And it also feels really sturdy and yeah, it's really easy to take it on the go. 
And what I'm also happy with is the balance of the pen, which makes it really nice to hold. It doesn't feel heavy, but it also doesn't feel very light. It's just like, yeah, perfectly in balance, I uh, would say. But yeah, most of all, uh, what I'm mostly impressed by is how smooth it writes. The pen sells for around 80 euros, a bit less than 80 euros, so I think you have really good value for your money. Especially for the points that I all mentioned before. So yeah, we're coming to the end of this review of this Platinum Curidas pen, which I'm obviously really positive about. I hope you enjoy watching this video and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't do it yet, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I also always like to hear in the comments what you think or if you have any questions. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!